So now in today's video, we're going to look at an interesting component. So I got a few of these. They're uh, L7805CV. The part number doesn't show up very good. It won't show up on camera. But uh, that's the full part number for this part. But it's a 7805. It's a positive linear voltage regulator. There's also a 79 series for negative voltages. So this is a 78 series, 5 volts. That's what the 05 means. So if there's another number, it's a different voltage. So what it does, it takes a higher voltage. So if you have a higher voltage or batteries that are going to change their voltage and you want a steady voltage of a lower voltage, you can use one of these. They do create a lot of heat though. So we got 5 volts. As you see, we can take 35 volts in and get 5 volts out. That 30 volt difference though, based on the current flow, will just create heat. It will be wasted energy. So it's not energy efficient. It's intended more for low power circuits. And as you can see, it's in the TO220 package. We can clamp a larger heat sink on there, but we got this heat sink there. And this should be the ground. So the ground pin is the middle pin right there. And that should be part of uh, this tab too. So beware of that. So now wiring this up will be really easy. So I'll just quickly go through that. As you can see, we have the uh, voltage in, which is going to be provided by a bench power supply. So I can go anywhere from zero volts to uh, limiting current to zero amps up to 16 volts and allowing up to 3 amps of current to flow through. And this actually limits current on, on its own. You don't have to worry about, unless something's wrong with it, about too much current flowing through here. And uh, we'll take some heat measurements coming up. But uh, there you can see input, that's going to come from the power supply. Uh, ground, middle pin, that's going to this blue rail. And then the output, this uh, jumper goes to the red rail. So we'll be powering the uh, rail right here. So now the uh, ground, the power supply, and the pin and the load, or the, uh, the regulator here, and the load, they all share a ground. So I got the gray jumper there, the uh, blue jumper that I got here for the uh, negative side of the power supply, I'm just going to put to the ground rail. So everything's going to share the uh, ground right there. And so now we got these three jumpers next to each other. I can just snap the linear regulator into the board. And later on, we'll add capacitors there. These are smoothing capacitors. I actually got, I don't have a, a 0.33 microfarad uh, capacitor. I'll just use a 0.47 microfarad. You can go higher on these. It won't hurt anything. But uh, those are the values that the data sheet gives. So now... First thing we'll do is take a no load voltage reading. So that's set to uh, voltage. Made sure the red probe is plugged into the right spot already. And so right now I have the uh, bench power supply set to, I'll go to uh, 7 volts. And we will measure that. So that's the input that's over here. I added this jumper down here to connect to the negative rail a little easier. And you can see 7 volts. So now we will go to the output over here, which is going to the rail. Something to keep in mind. And there you can see we're just a little shy of 5 volts. But the uh, data sheet that I'm looking at, it says that uh, with no load, it should be between 4.9 and 5.1 volts. So it's not a precision component. And uh, we're within that uh, limit. We're pretty close to 5 volts. And now I changed the uh, voltage coming in to 16 volts. We can see we got 15.99 there. So pretty much spot on there. And uh, going out, we have the same voltage, about 5 volts, which is going to the rail. So that's what we want. The uh, change in voltage coming in does not determine the voltage coming out as long as it is high enough to hold the voltage steady. And now, moving along, I'm going to set up a lot of this stuff between shots to uh, save time. But we have one resistor, one side to the negative rail, 
the other side to the positive rail and I already took thermal images that I will post well I'm uh, doing this because it will show up better that way but I'm also going to show live thermal images so in any case we have 8 volts coming in and of course going to the rail because we have this uh, power supply we have about 5 volts going to the rail and so right now I'll uh, had to turn on the uh, FLIR camera but in any case you can see that the resistor is by far a lot hotter than the uh, voltage regulator there the uh, 7805 and uh, it looks like it's close to about the heat of my finger right there but uh, resistor is by far the hottest so we will jump now to when we have 16 volts being supplied to the regulator okay so I set the power supply to 16 volts and waited a little bit let's take a look at that so 16 volts coming in of course 5 volts going out and now when we look at it with thermal you can see that the power supply or the uh, voltage regulator I mean is quite a bit warmer than it was before but still cooler than the resistor so it's doing alright at uh, this low amount of power now I have two parallel resistors so twice the current and I snapped a picture of that coming up but first let's take the uh, multimeter measurement just to show it's 16 volts just as a reminder but 5 volts coming out and let's take a look at the thermal there you can see that now the uh, regulator here 7805 is fairly close to the temperature of the resistors and I tried to get an accurate reading of the temperature probably 160 on the uh, still picture so I'm not going to focus on that on these but as you can see it's quite a bit warmer now and finally still at 16 volts you can see we got three parallel resistors here and it looks like the regulator here the 7805 is a little bit warmer than them probably a fair amount it's also a larger component so it may just be showing up better and uh, there you go my finger is just blue now it's really cold compared to these components and now I have a fan on them I also lowered the voltage to 8 volts I didn't plan to uh, do this so I don't have a still picture but you can see they're pretty cool it's kinda interesting with uh, the fan on them and now our three parallel resistors with the 8 volts coming to the power supply but we're coming to the uh, voltage regulator but of course 5 volts going to the resistor now when we look at it you can see that the resistors are quite a bit hotter than the uh, 7805 and so it's wasting a lot less energy now because we're providing a certain amount of power to the resistors regardless of the voltage but the uh, voltage difference has to be absorbed by the uh, linear voltage regulator here and so the more of a voltage you have to drop the more of that energy is just going to heating this component it's not even going to the load and so that's the main takeaway so now we got a lot more demanding this is a 10 watt resistor it's only a 5 ohm resistor so let's see how the voltages are doing right now we're still at uh, 8 volts it's uh, a little sluggish though and uh, but I have the power supply set to 8 volts we're still holding pretty much 5 volts at the output here you can see the LED is pretty bright and uh, fortunately the uh, thermal camera was off okay there we go so you can see that uh, the uh, resistor there it's only 5 ohms and it's uh, passing a lot of current and so now you can see that the uh, linear voltage regulator is getting pretty hot right now so I'm going to turn the voltage up to 16 volts and this should go pretty quick since everything's already warmed up but uh, you should notice the LED got dim pretty uh, 
pretty quick and uh, let's take a look again the voltage coming in I set it to 16 volts looks like it's doing alright there and uh, now we come over here and you see the the meter it uh, screws it up even more so I took a thermal image of that before but uh, here it is on the uh, camera there so you can see that uh, the regulator right now is getting really warm those resistors they're little as is the uh, one with the LED and so they cool off pretty quick and that one uh, I'm not sure how cool it's going to get but it'll cool down slower but you can see right there the linear regulator is getting really hot whereas everything else is cooling down that's because it's just absorbing the power it's getting too hot and so it shuts down to uh, the power to the load it protects itself it's really nice the data sheet basically says it's pretty much indestructible you know but I read the data sheet for exact details but it has all kinds of protection circuitry and now since uh, that didn't go as well as we would hope as we'll see coming up now is a good time to add the smoothing capacitors so as I said before I don't have a point thirty three microfarad be careful doing this because the components are hot for a long time these are larger ones but uh, so now we got a, a point thirty three from the uh, voltage in which will we can reattach right now now that we have the capacitor there and I'm going to try to keep it away from the uh, linear regulator as we saw it gets really hot so uh, positive voltage in to a ground we have I don't have a point thirty three microfarad I'm using a point forty seven microfarad it will work basically the same and then the uh, the voltage out and ground we have a 0.1 microfarad capacitor which I do have but again if you have to substitute it with a similar value that's okay and everything's gonna get blocked but uh, there we go it is in there and uh, now it's in there fully so in any case we got those now let's look at the same circuit so we will uh, get our voltage measurement coming in is uh, 8 volts I'm gonna jump that up to 16 volts keep watching that LED and uh, we are at 16 volts right there and now the LED is out even if I don't touch anything with the uh, multimeter let's go to the voltage out it looks like we have about a steady uh, 0.14 volts coming out it takes about 1.6 volts for the LED to start conducting so the uh, regulator here is getting too hot and so it's shutting down and so all these components are gonna cool down they don't have as much voltage across them and it's gonna do whatever it takes to prevent from overheating so it's got a lot of protection circuitry a pretty uh, interesting component and uh, I wish they put more of these into more kits of course as I said before the 05 is the voltage for this particular one they come in all kinds of voltages and uh, I'm thinking about getting a kit that has a whole bunch of them and maybe I will maybe I won't but there's a kit where you can get a whole bunch of values positive and negative and uh, if I didn't have these I would have uh, bought that kit. So in any case, hopefully you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.